Before you had the Pacquiao fight, you were supposed to fight with Kell Brook, and then that fight didn't come through. Now we hear that he's going to be fighting Earl Spence. How do you see that fight going on? I think it's an interesting matchup. Uh, Earl Spence is, is a fighter coming up on the rise, and this is his test to, to prove to himself and to everyone else that he is that he uh, deserves being a champion, you know. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see until the date of the fight. Would you like to face the winner of that fight? I want to face anybody. You know, uh, everyone knows that I've never ducked anyone at all, and whoever is next, that's who we'll take care of, and you know, fight anybody and everybody. And of course, we are here at the press conference for Canelo versus Chavez Jr. A big fight. They've been doing the tour all over uh, the U.S. and Mexico. How do you see this fight? A lot of people, you know, there's some people call it 50-50. Some give the height advantage to uh, to Chavez. Some people say that Canelo has the power. But I mean, you hear so many things. What do you see? It's a 50-50 fight. We just don't know. You know, uh, Chavez has the height advantage, the reach advantage. But will he use it? You know, that's the question. And we all know that Chavez Jr. likes to fight in the inside. And if he fights in the inside, that's Canelo's big, biggest strength is fighting in the inside. He's a big power puncher as well. Uh, the, so it, it depends on styles. We'll see what Nacho Beristein can bring out of Julio Chavez Jr. We'll see what type of game plan Canelo has. It's a fight that we just don't know how it's going to develop. We don't know whether it's going to change. I know that it's going to change momentum in the middle of the fight because it has everything to do so. You know, because you got Chavez Jr.'s power, power punch, and then you also have Canelo's good power punching skills, durability. So it's going to be interesting. And of course, we also have the fight between Gennady Golovkin and Danny Jacobs. How do you see that fight happening? Well, first of all, I want to let my fans know that I'm going to be commentating for HBO, the Spanish portion for the Triple G Jacobs. I'm going to be commentating for the Canelo Golovkin. I'm sorry, Can Canelo Chavez Jr. I know you want to see it, but not yet. Uh, Canelo uh, Chavez Jr. fight on HBO, pay-per-view, the Spanish portion. So if you tune in, you speak Spanish, you understand Spanish, tune in. We'll give you the best reports from what's going on in the fight but going back to your question triple g against jacobs i see triple g having a slight edge and being able to get the win because of his punching power i thought you were uh, letting us in at some little hbo secrets that canelo golovkin was already made yeah, yeah no 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 not not yet this it all depends on the results of this fight and then afterwards um we we will promote the next one do you really do you really think that canelo golovkin is going to happen eventually this year I think it has to happen if he if he if Canelo comes out victorious and if Triple G comes out victorious in 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 his fight, you know, uh, eventually it'll happen. It's just it's just like this fight here, Chavez Jr. against Canelo. It took them five years to make, about seven years actually, but really five years. So to actually make the fight, it's just it's a process sometimes, you know. It's needed sometimes that way we can see where each fighter is at and if they're they are actually capable of beating the other and and um, giving the fight more of a more more of a promotion you know what i mean yeah. All right, well there's definitely a lot of fights happening a lot of fights that we want to see we can't wait to see you back inside the ring jesse always a pleasure talking to you thank you so much